For over a decade, the mission behind the Yasso Roth Rock Christmas City Classic has always been about reaching the youth through sports. That mission still rings true in what would be the second year of the event's middle school showcase, where Brockle, Northeast, Nichman, and East Hills girls and boys programs would compete on one of the Valley's biggest high school stages. Basically, it's a middle school showcase, and it's going back and going back to George and George Yasso and Todd Rothrock. And they were so influential in the youth of the, of, of, of the Valley that we decided to give back, and we're just giving back and keeping their, their name alive, essentially. And this is, you know, a crowd you couldn't ask for anything more. It's, it's incredible. Well, first of all, I want to thank the, uh, the, the people that put this together. You know, I spoke to Judd earlier. I, I know George. I went to school with George. And I knew Mr. Yasso. I knew Mr. Rothrock when I played here as well. So it, it's an honor to come back and be part of that. Uh, for the kids, it's an honor as well because it's a chance to be on a high school floor in front of high school coaches, as well as their family and friends. And it's just a, a really kind of like a, a pivotal moment for them to see that experience and get that feeling. So it was really nice to come back and be part of that for them. At an age where it's so important to connect with the youth and keep them interested and involved, playing on as big as a stage as Liberty's Memorial Gym helps to do just that. Yeah, switching from Nichman Gym to all these people, it's kind of nervous, but once we're out there, we'll be playing our best and it'll be fine. But for them, this is a kind of... Uh, a, a entry point and an opening experience to the high school expectations. You know, first and foremost, you got to be a student. If you can't be a student, you can't even be on the court or on the field or diamond or mat, whatever sport you play. So for the kids here, it's an opportunity to talk to the coaches, especially the freshman incoming coaches, and see that expectation in, in, in front of them and know that the excitement and the atmosphere is something they have to get used to every night, day in and day out, on the, in the classroom and on the court as well. In a special event for the community and the youth of Bethlehem, these middle school athletes have a front row seat to what it's like playing at the varsity level. And the same can be said for those high school coaches who know just how important those youth programs are to their success as well. Middle level is critical for the high schools to be successful. And uh, one of the pushes in our school district right now is to really work on bolstering the middle level, not only at the at the varsity and junior varsity competition at the middle level, but also at the intramural level and working even at our elementary level. So you're going to see a lot of great things coming in, in terms of supporting intramural athletics in Bethlehem. But a night like tonight, it's huge for our community. Yeah, and I've been in their spot. I remember, you know, when I played at East Hills and when Coach Salato walked in, all, we were all stargazing. So I know what that feels like to have the varsity head, head basketball coach come in and speak to, speak to the team. So. You know, I really just hope that they just play hard, play together, and have fun, um, and that's what it's about. Reporting for the Service Electric Network, I'm Cassie Schmidt.